Spoken for Communications brings you this preview of North Carolina Central and Hampton coming up on Thursday night, live from O'Kelly Riddick Stadium to the world on ESPNU. I'm Chris Hooks, play-by-play -play voice of the NCCU Sports Network, joined by the head coach Henry Frazier III. As coach, again, this program for the first time as a Division I school gets to uh, put out its product uh, to the entire nation on ESPNU. It presents a great opportunity for your staff and your team, and not only that, but the university as well. It's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, we're talking about you know developing our brand as an FCS program, and and what what what, what great opportunity it is it for 80 over 80 million households to have a chance to see what we're doing as an FCS program at North Carolina Central University, and to see our beautiful campus and all the exciting things that are taking place at NCCU. So we're excited. Looking at this matchup, obviously Hampton's had the upper hand over the last few years, and but they've been really tight ball games, so should expect nothing less from that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're going to come and give us their effort. They're on TV as well, and um, you know they've beaten us quite a few years in a row. So, so we expect to get everyone's uh, best football game. You know, but for us, you know, it's just a matter. We know we're going to get that. So, but but we want to make sure that we play hard football for 60 minutes and play together for 60 minutes and bring that hammer. You know, that's our focus. It's just focus us. It's on us right now you know we used to you know you kind of you got to worry about other teams you see what they're doing and the schemes once you recognize the schemes and and what they're trying to do then you switch your focus to yourself that hey look am I doing the best I can am I playing hard am I doing those things so when you do those and you worry about yourself and focus on yourself then and I think good things tend to happen yeah, you talk about good things happening to a couple of players you look at Morgan State the end of that ball game Jordan Reed with the clutch touchdown pass Detwan Robinson on the end of that, two players that uh, have certainly come full circle here this year. They have, they have. I'm, I'm proud of both of them. I couldn't be more happy for them. And, um, you know, they executed the play. They executed down the stretch. And, you know, like I said, Detwan, uh, you know, had that shoulder injury last year, kind of mu had to muscle through the season, and now he's healthy and he's getting coached up pretty good. And uh, by Coach Revolta, who played tight end for me for four years and, and coached for me. And then you got Jordan. You know, I can't say enough, you know, good things about Jordan because, you know, he's commanding the offense. I mean, he was extremely efficient. You know, on, on Saturday, going 29 for 38, and and that's what you want out your quarterback. And um, you know, he's a little banged up. I'm hoping, I don't know how well he can get for the Hampton game because it's such a short turnaround. But he's pro, he's proven that he'll play hurt. He's proven that he, that you know that he can you know be a pocket passer. So I'm just hoping you know he gets well so we can get back to Jordan running around making plays because he did take a couple of sacks. And those sacks, it was still decent protection. It's just a matter of. You know, it wasn't no free runner. It was, it was just a matter of you know, him just not being able to get away. So, um, you know, we'll continue to step up and protect him and, until he gets well and, and go from there. You took on the number one running back in the league last week as far as Travis Davidson statistically. This week you get number two, oh, wow. different back. Just talk about that and the matchup the defense is going to have to see. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a tough guy. He's more of an inside, inside the tackle runner, you know, with some decent speed. And, and But, you know, and what, what – I guess the major problem that presents is they're going to run him out of 10 personnel where they have four wide receivers in the game. It's trying to spread you out, then they'll run him up in the middle. So it's, it's up to us to just, you know, to, to, to kind of pick out poison. That's what they're trying to put you in the bind, you know, because if you empty the box, then they'll run him, he gets his yards. But if you but if you uh, pack the box, then they'll be able to throw short bubbles and in, in the short uh, pass game, which is like a run in his, in his offensive scheme. So, so we just got to mix things up. You know, and keep them thinking and, and go from there. But the key is going to be not missing tackles. We're going to have players in position to make tackles, you know, because it's, it's, by them spreading you out, it's pretty much like one-on-one. -on -one. So you're going to have an opportunity to make tackles, and you just got to make them. You know, if we miss tackles, then it's going to be a long day on us. Winners of three in a row coming into this ball game. How does this team keep the momentum and make it four? Well, just just being, you know, just 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 uh, following my lead, you know, because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be consistent. You know, I'm gonna take it one play at a time, one game at a time. You know, one quarter, one game, and then you go from there. Playing hard for 60 minutes. It's, it's not like you know we're gonna look ahead or jump ahead or anything like that. It's just a matter of just being real simple. You know, one play, one quarter, one game. You know, I think if we do those things and just play hard for 60 minutes, bring that hammer for 60 minutes, and then good things are happening for us. All right, Coach, let's do just that. Let's bring that hammer. Let's bring the hammer. That's Head Coach Henry Frage the third. Spoken for Communications brings you this preview of North Carolina Central in Hampton because every child deserves to be heard. Enjoy the ball game. Join us at 7 o'clock for the Champs pregame show here on the NCCU Sports Network.